So the draft has concluded, and the Grizzlies have gotten their guys of the future and the guys that they believe in that can lead this team to, of course, a championship. And before I give my draft grade, which I will give at the end of the video, so please stay, uh, like, and comment, you know, subscribe. And um, we're going to get into it, you know, because I think this is definitely a great time to be a Grizzlies fan, a great energy just flowing right now, just in the city and on this team. And going in free agency, we have drafted three absolute dogs. You know, of course, we have the 7-4 future unstoppable machine, Zach Eady from Purdue, two-time national player of the year. And then, of course, we have Jalen Wells from Washington State, 6'8", a uh, small four wing, can do it all. Uh, he can shoot. He's definitely a shooter, shot creator, and he has a lot of defensive potential. And uh, with me saying that, I think it's about time for me to salute, salute Zaire, man, because I don't know if Zaire can. You know, he he's a, he's a good wing, not great but still has a lot to work on. So, to be honest, I think Jalen Wells and um, Gigi Jackson should play in front of Zaire, especially from what I've seen from Jalen Wells. And then, of course, we have Killer Cam from UConn. Point guard, shooting guard, shooter, pure shooter, and high IQ guard from UConn, six three six four ish ready to put in work on the grizzlies and ready to get it in and what i can say with this draft is i wanted to get two big men i keep it 100 i wanted to get two big men but i really thought about it after the draft i was like hmm we got one big man one guard and one small forward one wing we basically got you know, a position across the board and, you know, we're trying that position to see what it would lead to. But I also think that we need to focus on getting a big man in free agency, you know, try probably um, maybe moving Zaire, possibly moving Luke Kennard to, to free up some, some cat space. I love Luke, uh, but... If that would free some cat space for a, another big to come off the bench or a, a, a veteran big to start. But eventually, you know, Zach Eady will is supposed to be that starting center, you know. But maybe just bring somebody in to um to train Zach Eady. We can bring in like a Clint Capella, a Brooke Lopez. That would be great. But we just have to wait and see and see where that leads to. Now, as far as Cam Spencer from UConn, the guard, um, he's good. Um, he, he, he has very high IQ in how he plays. You know, it's like he knows how to control the pace of the game and he knows how to pass the ball. I think that would be def definitely helpful with Edie and our other wings like Gigi Jackson and Vince Williams and getting getting those guys ready. Um, I don't know how he'll play on the team because we do got John Morant and we do got Scottie Pippen Jr. So it is uh is it is gonna be a little competition with with Scottie Pippen and Cam Spencer to see who's gonna get that second guard rotation spot. But nonetheless. Still a good pickup, great pickup, actually. Especially where we got him in the draft and his value in the draft. Now, let me go to Jalen Wells. Jalen Wells, from what I've seen, he's a beast. You know, he's a shot creator. He's a dog. He got a lot of energy, electric energy. 
And I think he's just going to be a, a great spark plug off the bench. I think pairing him up with G.G. Jackson and uh, Vince Williams is, is going to be dope. It's going to be good because you can have G.G. Paint playing. Because really you can go small. Like you can go Scottie Pippen Jr. or Cam Spencer. Then you can go Vince Williams for the shooting guard. I think Vince Williams is about 6'5", 6'6". Then you can go Jalen Wells as the wing. Jalen Wells, 6'8", Hooper. Then you can go G.G. Jackson, small well, uh, as a power forward because he's 6'8", as well, and he can post up. Then you can go Brandon Clark, 6'9", 6'10". You know, that's like a small lineup, um, fast lineup that can move. Very athletic lineup, and that'll be ooh. That, hey, that's kind of loud. That coach, uh, coach Jenkins, if you watching this, you need hey, you need to put that. You need to have Cam Spencer, Vince Williams, Jalen Wells, Gigi Jackson, and Brandon Clark off the bench. I ain't gonna lie, that's 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 that's, that's a cool little bench rotation. Small, I, I'll say that's a small rotation. You know, I'm, I don't think that's a permanent bench rotation. That's a small rotation. You know, um, but we're just gonna have to wait and see with free agency and who we get and and uh, how we play. But I'm excited for this draft. This draft uh, was great, actually. I think this is one of the best drafts we had in the last since the John Morant uh, Desmond Bain draft. Definitely, most definitely. Like this draft, we got a big man, we got a guard with high IQ, they can build for the future, and we got Jalen Wells, we got a, a wing who can shot create and who can shoot, period. You know, so this team is forming together nicely. I will have to give this draft an A, an A, you know, uh, almost an A+. Plus, um... You know what? Forget it. Well, yeah. Let's let's do an A plus. Let's do an A plus for this draft because we got the big man, we got the wing, and we got the guard. So you know, we we got we got everything on all cylinders. And I think this just ooh, it just goes into summer league. Like now we go into summer league, and these three guys should be playing in summer league. We should have Gigi Jackson in summer league. Uh, how old is Scottie Pippen Jr.? Is he? I think he's a rookie, a second year. I think he'll be in summer league. Um, who else? Not Vince. I don't think Vince Williams gonna be in summer league because this is his third season. But those guys alone, we're gonna have a a good good summer league team. I think we're going to dominate and, and just go ahead and win it. But I'll go over that roster when it comes out. Right now, I'm just going over the draft grade. And like I said, I give this an A+. Plus. You know, they uh they the, the, the front office, they did one with this one. And I'm ready. I hope you all ready, too. It's all around the M. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share. Uh... Highlight videos coming soon. Uh, what else? Oh yeah. Also, I meant to go live during the draft, but the draft started at three p.m. I I missed the whole thing. Like I looked at my phone. And I'm like, it was like Grizzly draft, blase blase. With the, I'm like, hold on, what? I'm like, I thought the draft was at six seven. Then I go in and I see the whole draft is done. I'm like, yo, I'm like, I missed the whole draft. So, yeah, but. Yeah, I meant to go live during the draft, um, but that's cool. We, we're gonna do. We're gonna have more chances to go live and do things of that nature. But yeah, the, the team is looking good though. We looking good. Uh, the only I ain't gonna lie. The only weird spot I'm having is is Marcus Smart on the slate because I just I like like Marcus Smart is cool, but it's like. Where does he fit? Like, does he really fit? Like, I know he fits the defensive scheme of the team, but I'm thinking about his size. I'm thinking about his playmaking because he can't really shoot. You know, he's just really just good at defense. He's like a, another Tony Allen, you know, but 
we're just gonna have to wait and see. I really think that we we might need to think of the possibility of him coming off the bench and, and starting somebody else. But we'll talk about that at a later time. Like I said, it's all around the M. You know, it's your boy Chris. I'm gonna get over with y'all. All right.